friends, welcome back to Learning with Miss G Story Time. Today we're reading a very fun summer story about some yummy ice cream. Who doesn't love ice cream in the summertime? Well, we're reading about a little gorilla, or a big gorilla who likes ice cream. But before we get to that story, let's sing our Welcome to Miss G's class song. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you today? I am fine and I am great. I am fine and I am great. I am fine and I am great. I'm very well today. And I hope that you are very well too. Well, are you ready for a good story? Let me hear you. Oh, awesome. I can't wait to read it. So today we're reading Gorilla Loves Vanilla. Gorilla Loves Vanilla. What flavor ice cream do you like? Do you like vanilla? I like vanilla. I like strawberry better. But let's read about Gorilla Loves Vanilla and see what happens in this story. It's written by Che Straithy and the illustrator the one who draws the picture. Her name is Nicola Byrne. Gorilla loves vanilla. Do you know what we can say about those two words, gorilla and vanilla? They have the same ending sound. That means they rhyme. If two words have the same ending sound, they rhyme. So we're going to hear lots of rhyming words and this story today. So every time you hear a pair of rhyming words, just give me a thumbs up. Okay, here we go. Gorilla Loves Vanilla. If you take a walk down Jelly Bean Street, there's a wonderful place you can go for a treat. Street, treat, those two words rhyme. They have the same ending sound. A fabulous store full of yummy ice cream, the kind of ice cream that makes everyone beam. Little Sam Sunday is known as the king of cones and wafers and flavors that zing King, zing, those words rhyme. And one sunny day, as Sam opened the store, five hungry animals rushed through the door. I wonder what the animals are rushing for. Do you think they want something? What do you think they want? I think those five hungry animals just might want ice cream. First in line was a mouse that squeaked, please may I have a sundae made from blue cheese? Blue cheese ice cream. Mm, I don't know if I would like that. Do you think you would like blue cheese ice cream? Now that might sound scrumptious to a little gray mice, but none of the others thought cheese ice was nice. It sounded quite stinky, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up cheesy ice cream in a wink. Little Sam Sunday made that blue cheese ice cream for the little mouse. Let's keep reading to see what flavor might come next. Next to step up was a sea captain's cat with whiskery cheeks and a sailor's hat. My favorite, he said, is a sailing cat's wish Please bring me a finger ice cream in a dish. Fish finger ice cream. Hmm, I wonder what that might taste like. It sounded quite yucky, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up fishy ice cream in a wink. Fishy ice cream. The flavor the cow chose was daisies and grass, sprinkled with dandelions and a tall glass. Dandelions, you know, those are flowers. 
It's simply amusing, she cheered, but all of her friends thought her flavor was weird. It sounded revolting, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up Daisy ice cream in a wink. See, the cow had a tall glass of grass sprinkled with flowers, dandelion flowers. Does that sound good to you? Not to me. Next, the hippo stomped up with a thump and a thud and asked for a cone filled with mountains of mud. I don't want to eat it, he said with a laugh. I'm going to jump in and have a nice mud bath. So the hippo asked for a nice tall bowl of mud. But he only wanted to bathe in it. He didn't even want to eat it. It sounded quite messy, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up muddy ice cream in a week. And there goes that hippo. He just bathed in it. I wonder what animal will be next. Let's see. The animal sang, oh, little Sam, you're the best. You managed to rustle up every request. Then a voice came calling, what about mine? A gorilla was there at the end of the line. I wonder what flavor the gorilla will like. What do you think the gorilla might like? The gorilla said, I don't want fish fingers or worms as a filler. Just give me a cone full of good old vanilla. The others agreed that they'd all been too hasty. None of their flavors sounded quite as tasty. So everybody began to think, oh, Gorilla's vanilla sounds so tasty. Well, little Sam served a cone that was everyone's dream. Scoop upon scoop of amazing ice cream. He topped it with sprinkles. Do you like sprinkles? He topped it with sprinkles and milk chocolate chips. Then sticky fudge sauce that made them all lick their lips. The animals gasped. They couldn't help staring. They were all staring at Gorilla's ice cream now. They gasped and couldn't help staring. But lucky for them, Gorilla loves sharing. So Gorilla did share his wonderful, yummy ice cream with all of his animal friends. And that's the end of our Gorilla Loves Vanilla. Gorilla shared, what do you think? Do you think sharing is good? I think sharing is caring. It's nice to share, especially with our family and our friends. It's a good thing to share. Well, that's it, guys, for Gorilla Loves Vanilla. I hope that you'll join me for our next time reading a very fun story. So if you like this, if you like hearing my stories, ask your parents, your grown-ups, to subscribe and like my video. That way, I'll keep making more and more stories for all of you to see. I'm going to sing the goodbye song, and then I'll see you next time for Learning with Miss G. Goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, see you again. See you again, my story time friends. I will see you later. Bye-bye, friends. <laughs>